So right now, at the location that we just went to, this is how much we made month to date. We made $250.80 and it dispensed $5,980 with a total amount of 76 transactions approved. So you guys, we just got a location. Um, it took about 30 minutes. Uh... What's up everybody? Thank you for coming to another entrepreneur video. And today we got another ATM business with the homie Edgar. In this video, you're gonna see how he got 10 ATM machines, 11. 11. All right, we're gonna go check some out, get some knowledge. Also, he's gonna cold call places so you can see how he gets locations. Hopefully we get one today. So make sure to stick around. You ready, Edgar? Yes, sir. Let's go. young age and I'm realizing this. I was put in a position, need to guide my people. So what's the game plan, Edgar? The game plan today is to go to um, multiple locations. We're gonna also I'm going to show you guys the process of how to uh, start an ATM business, how, how to cold call. All right, man. Sounds good. Now, you're going to cold call people. We're going to get rejected, Edgar? Of course, but that's part of the game. Just like high school, bro. Just like high school. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. All right, guys. So, Edgar, we're at the first location. How'd you get this location? So, how I got this location was I, uh, I was over here um, just walking around because I used to work down the street from here. And I was like, you know what? There's a bunch of little businesses there. Let me go ahead and see if I could uh, close the location on one of these. And then I walked in, spoke to an employee. The employee told me that uh, they weren't interested. And I was like, okay, well, can I um, speak with the manager or the owner? They gave me the owner's number. We talked. I eventually came inside the barbershop, made him sign an agreement. Because every location I made him sign a contract that basically states that I'm going to put an ATM in there and I have full ownership of the ATM as well. And then from there, he was just like, yeah, let's make a deal. Okay. And how much business does this ATM bring you? Uh, this one does anywhere about, I get anywhere about 50 to 100 transactions a month. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yo, Edgar, so how do you know how much a machine makes? So uh, on, on the app, it actually shows right here. We made $124.25. We dispensed 2,080 and 36 uh, transactions got approved and there are 35 withdrawals. Okay, that's month to date. That's month to date. And then also this- uh, Wait, like the last 30 days or the first days of June? Uh, the uh, the last 30 days. Okay. So it's, it's always every 30 days. Got it. Mm -hmm. And this location is pretty good? This location is pretty good. All right, cool, cool. What's next, man, what's next? Well, what's next is we're gonna go to we're gonna go to one of my favorite and best locations. We're gonna go to a liquor store. Oh, there we go, let's but, go. But first off, we're gonna go and drop off a package at the post office. It's a it's an ATM part that I'm gonna send out for repair. Got it, let's mm -hmm. go. And their ATM is always out of service. I have asked the owner if I could put an ATM in there and he told me no. Why not? Uh, he said because the ATM that's in there, uh, his um, family member, his family member is the one that actually refills oh, it. Oh, yeah. But they're lagging it. They're lagging it. Shh. Gotta take care of your machines, guys. You think liquor store will be good? Oh yeah, liquor stores are the. And in my opinion, liquor stores, gas stations, even restaurants, in my opinion, are, are some of the best locations. Uh, some people, I know some people that have a lot of success with casinos. Um, have you tried those clubs? I have tried them, but they're really um, hard to get just because everyone goes after those. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then the the gentleman clubs too, you know. Oh yeah, they make a lot of money. Oh yeah, of course. But we we can't go to that, man. We're loyal, right? We're yeah. faithful. We're loyal. We're faithful. But <laughs> a lot of those single young birds. There you go. They'll be there, yeah. spending all types of money. How much are we putting in, Edgar? So today we're gonna put in a thousand. Tight squeeze, Edgar. Tight squeeze. Wait, don't ATMs have limits? Uh, they do have limits, uh, yeah. as, as much as someone could take out. But what I usually do is, uh, based off the location, I do anywhere from 500 to 2,000 to 3,000. This location right here actually takes out 2,000. So, oh. so you can take out 2,000 at a time. Oh, that's a lot. But you get a percentage. Yeah, you get a percentage. Yeah, and yeah. also, uh, this location is really good for me as well too, because it's not that far from me. It's like 15, 20 minutes. So it's easy to fill it up. So 2000 is perfect. So right now at the location that we just went to, this is how much we made month to date. We made $250.80 and it dispensed $5,980 with a total amount of 76 transactions approved. It's my company. See that? Mm -hmm. So I always look at this as motivation. So Compass Funds, 
ATM machines earn 25 cents to 70 cents per trans transaction. Customers spend 65 more in stores and you can reduce the processing fees. And then look, the payment processors, this is what they, they uh, do as well too. Pay, pay commissions all the time. Customers spend less. So many hidden fees. So what I do is sometimes I forget what I'm gonna tell a business owner when I approach their business is I show them this. Oh, that's what you use. That's This is one of the techniques that I use. So you always give them a commission no matter what? Correct. I yeah. never want to be a, um, I call it a free baller. I never want to, mm. you never want to be unfair because that will lead to problems on the road. What if eventually he eventually wants to go to a different ATM person just because they're giving him a commission, you know? What's that right there? This is the business cards. Ooh. So look, watch, compass funds. I gotta grab more. Ooh, you fancy with it, man. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Shh. I'm the homie Edgar. Yes, sir. Regional manager. I like your style, Edgar. Yes, sir. Can I be your assistant to the regional manager? Anytime, Ray. Yes. Go ahead, Edgar. We're going to another location right here. Yes, what sir. do we have? What, what do we have? So right here we have a nail salon. Um, this one's a, a newer location. I've, I've been having this location for about three months now, but um, it does pretty good numbers. Last yeah. month it did about three three fifty. Uh, this month it's already trending for about four hundred. There you go. All right, let's go check it out. Yeah, Edgar's closed, bro. So, Edgar, have you ever had to take out an ATM because maybe it wasn't performing right, or maybe you were having issues? Not yet. Um, the reason why not yet is because I would like to give people second chances. So I already told some of my my locations that hey, if the ATM doesn't do well, we can go ahead and give it like a six month test, and if it doesn't do good from there, then we could take it out. Yeah. But uh, right now it's doing good because usually what I do is I usually mark it as well too. Yeah. So I would go I would go ahead and add the machine on eight on Apple Maps, Google Maps market do marketing campaigns oh you do all that too i do all that as well too or oh. right now i'm in the process of making flyers so i can go ahead and start handing out to people telling them that there's atms in their area yeah. okay you make stickers edgar yep i make stickers that i put on my atms just so that it, it can show people what company um is operating it yo edgar so we're at another location how'd you get this one so how i got this one was basically i, I went um across the street there's another nail salon I went there to uh, to pitch that one, and long story short, I got that one, and the the business owner, which is a lady, her husband, I mean, the business owner, which is a a, a guy, her her wife owns this one. So then he was like, "Yes, if you're gonna put ATM here, I want you to put one in the other one as well too." All mm. I ask is you maintain it, make sure it's always filled, and if we have any complaints, we'll come to you. And I was like, "Yes, I understand." So I give him my company phone number. I showed them the process and everything. It's been there ever since. How long have you had it? Um, I had it for about three months. And salons, how are they with making money? With making money, salons, so it, it really varies. Um, both of these together, they, they do about, so that one does about max, I have seen it so far, about 450. This one right here, max, I've seen it about 500. Oh. This one's a little bit more busier. Um, and yeah. And how much commission do you give them? Uh, so I give the business owners for both of these 50 cents. So when I go to the other one, I give the man uh, an envelope separately with money apart from his wife so that there's no conflict there. Got it. And how does the business owner know you're giving them the right amount? The business owner knows I'm giving them the right amount by also uh, what I'm doing is I'm giving them a report at the end of every month. And the report basically states the transactions, how many got approved, how many this um, the amount got dispensed and we just go based off of that if they have any concerns or any issues then they also message me or I tell them in person as well too and in, in, in every location that I put an ATM I also give them a free ATM sign as well too for their window of their stores yeah hey Edgar so you've only had this next location for a week I only had this one for a week I, I installed it uh, uh, last I want to say maybe it was like last Tuesday mm -hmm. Um, but it's it's a cool location. The business owner told me um, honestly that they had another person in mind. They made him sign the contract. The person never showed up, and, oh. a, and a person tried to show up randomly after three months, and they were like, "No, what the heck? Like, what are you doing here?" <laughs> mm. Hey, is there a lot of competition? There's a lot of competition, but one thing that I'll tell you is, uh, in order to beat the competition, you have to go out of your, your way. You have to do things that other people do not do. 
So for example, I always try to make my, my clients feel feel right at home. I always check up on them. I always make sure everything's good. Say, do you need anything from me? I could give you a free ATM sign. I could give you uh, whatever you need. If you have any questions on anything. Got it. Let's go check it out. This is it right here? This is it right here. All right, man. Yep. Hey, what models do you have? So I, I, I have all kinds of models. So this one's a, a 1800 SE. I also have some tridents. I also have some high signs. I'm really flexible. Uh, the, the thing, um, how we do it is uh, uh, at Compass Funds, we usually uh, try to use all the machines we can. Even if they're outdated, we try to um, update them and put new parts and make them run smooth and good, you know? How'd you get this one? Uh, this one is funny. I actually got it in a bulk. I actually bought six of these for $1,000. Just because the the guy was was leaving the ATM industry and he just didn't want nothing to do with ATMs at all no more. That's a good deal. Mm -hmm. Six for a thousand. Six, but <laughs> the only thing was the six out of the six there was three of them that had a ton of issues. So I had to di diagnostic do diagnosis on it and check to see what was the issues and what had to be fixed and changed and all these other things. Got it. And it's still a good deal. It's still a good deal. So if you guys want a little overview of the machines, this is where we put the paper. We, we also uh, change it from here. The internet modem's right there. This is where the signal, the internet modem comes from. The, uh, the, battery, the brick, the battery brick that gives power to the machine. And this is how it looks on the inside. So there you guys go. Now, if you guys have any questions about the ATM business, drop it in the comments below. And the homie right here and me will do our best to answer every single question. But make sure to give him a follow. Hey, where can people follow you? They can follow me at uh, the lion. That's a th nine lion. Got it. I'll put it in the description below. But let's continue with the ATM day. Yo, guys. So I'm right here with Edgar. You saw some of his locations. Share some knowledge about something we've never done. You gonna cold call some people out here? Yes, sir. We're about to call some locations right now. We're about to try to get a, a lead, a location. Hi, how you doing? Um, my name is Edgar with Compass Funds. I'm calling because I want to see if you guys would be interested in a free ATM machine for your business. We're doing it now, thank you. Okay, have a good day. Okay, that one was rude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but well, don't worry, we're gonna keep going down the list. How many do you call a day when you're doing this? I usually call, it, it really varies. I usually call anywhere from 20 to 100 locations, but I have noticed within the 15th to 20th call, you do get a location. And it also, um, I don't just stay in one city or one um, theme. I always keep switching it up. So after 10 laundry mats, I'll start calling 10 barbershops or after 10 barbershops, I'll start calling 10 nail salons and vice versa until you actually uh, get a location. All right, guys. So. Homie Edgar over here, gonna call a whole bunch of people. Let's see if you get at least one lead. Yep. Got it. Now, wait, are you looking for a lead or confirmed? I'm looking for a, a, I'm looking for a confirmed lead so that I can go there, meet with the owner, explain to him the profit, the contract, the agreement, what we're gonna give him, what he's gonna give us. And then based off of everything, if he likes it, He'll sign it and we'll install the machine two to four weeks from the time that we signed the agreement. Got it. So Edgar, I was calling to see if you guys wanted a free ATM machine for your business. The machine that dispensed money? Uh, no, we don't need it. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. We got to do it for the audience, you know? For the audience. That's free for the the subscribers. That's right. We ain't going to give up. Never. We're going to keep going. Hey, Compass Funds, we wanted to see if you guys wanted a free ATM machine. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not the owner. Mm -hmm. And you would have to run that by the owner. Okay. You know, I'll talk to him about it, but he's not in right now. I believe he'll be in tomorrow. He'll be if in. You want to call back? Yeah, free for your business. I could explain how it works and everything as well too. Yeah, the thing is, I tried before and I don't have too much foot traffic, so it's not gonna work here. Uh, está bien que 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 voy ahorita o o estás ocupado? Okay, ya voy para allá. Gracias por tu tiempo. Okay, adios. So, you guys, we just got a location. Um, it took about 30 minutes, um, and we we sealed the deal. We're about to go over there. We're about to talk to the business owner, discuss to him how much we're going to give him, how the ATM looks, and everything, and we did it in Spanish. Yo, oh, there you go, the bilingual. Hey, they made you pull out your Spanish today, Edgar. 
Yeah, yeah. They made me pull up the <laughs> Spanish. I was ready to be like Machina this, Machina that. <laughs> there you go. So we're gonna go check out the location. Yes, sir. And let's see what they say. Yes. Let's go, man. Let's, let's go. go. Do it. Let's hey, Edgar. Yeah. I was just close to giving up, bro, but you pulled through, bro. Oh, man. You? Trust me, Reyes. <laughs> if I'm gonna be in your videos, we gotta go through all the way. All right, there you go. Let's yeah. go. So right now what I'm doing is before we go to the location, I always get an agreement ready. And I usually, this is the agreement right here. I usually put an agreement right on my clip on the clipboard just so when we go in we could talk to the business owner and we won't look like we don't, we don't know what we're saying God. and if he has any questions he can go over with me and everything guess what Reyes what happened bro what happened we got the location look boom cha-ching and he said he's gonna give me four to six weeks to install it four to six weeks yes sir why four to six weeks four to six weeks so we have time to get the the internet router the ATM machine and the money ready and then we start programming it, and then we bring it in boom all right guys hey there you have it you got a location now edgar let's say somebody wants more information where can they go they can go at uh, instagram.com slash th9 lion which stands for the lion uh, you can hit me up uh, regarding uh, atms locations any info um, anything that you like i'll put it in the description below and also edgar over here just like an entrepreneur, he has other side projects. What do you got going on, man? Man, I got a new tape on the way. Uh, I make music. Um, if you guys want to check out my music, uh, link in the description. Um, and yeah, I mean, I I'm down uh, to collaborate, do anything music related. New single out now, Going on Green, featuring Lion. All right, I put everything in the description below. You heard a little bit of his song in this video. Go check him out. And if you like this video and you want to see more, press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everybody. Bye,